Internally displaced persons have continued to tell the shocking stories of why they left their villages running as fast as their legs could carry them. It's just that they were taking me they will kill me. Because if somebody owes you a, 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 a token, your act is becoming a problem. So that's where I decided to run away. That shooting of gun, that gun will be too much. That the first time where they come, like that 20 minutes old, gun will be too much. We man will be too persevere. And me, I felt really then I could come and run. Now really, I mean, they can't tell me, say, carry your handicap picking come out because your life day. Even as they have taken refuge in Bamenda and elsewhere they consider safer, new challenges have further compounded their routines. As I'm here like this, I, since when they bought my bike, I, I'm just taking other tour bike to be managing. Difficulties to pay rent and food. You know, there are times that if it's a long time, that you can only afford to have it. It's a challenge. Even though we will have small life, if I can even go to the grass, but for I said, I'm money like that. They now move from one queue to another to grab what is on distribution. <laughs> distribution exercises like this one have been going on, but the response are far from meeting the needs of the fleeing population who were better off in their communities before the crisis. This distribution exercise is targeting the population of Momo East and coordinated by the Member of Parliament, Honorable Charles Anyere. I have noticed that in major cities of Cameroon, the Muamo community is increasing, increasing and increasing, the displaced person. So I think that it is my duty uh, the people's representative of Muamu particular subdivision to tell, transmit this information to the population of Muamu across Cameroon that they should prepare themselves and let's go back home. The crisis is ongoing, but the message I'm sending to those our brothers and sisters who are in the bushes is that they should follow, they should heed to the call of the head of state. Since the teachers and lawyers' strike actions escalated into an armed conflict, many people have been killed and many more maimed. The number of deaths as a consequence of the war is on the increase. Many now think the Honorable and his colleagues at the Glass House in Yawundi can do better by discussing solutions to the conflict in Parliament.